Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man From Self. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are, yes, you are going to love it around here. Please do press subscribe right now. Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This is a fragrance that I am so surprised I've not reviewed, uh, that I've not had on my website. And I just rebought it three weeks ago and I've been reminded, like literally, spoiler alert, how much I love it. I'm gonna tell you why I love it. I'm gonna tell you if you're gonna love this. I'm gonna tell you a story behind it. We're gonna chill. So grab a whiskey, grab a tea, grab a coffee. I've got a cinnamon tea right here. Um, so this came out in 2007. This is part of the Private Blend Collection. Private Blend Collection are these gorgeous, almost like pillar-like bottles. You've also got the Signature Collection from Tom Ford, which is slightly uh, cheaper in price point, slightly more accessible, um, but it's the Private Blend ones that are so iconic. Now, this takes inspiration from Tom Ford's love of London, and it's supposed to have this sort of smell of um, a gentleman's club in London. So something a bit decadent, these sort of smoky tobacco notes, but there's also a spiciness to it. Now, this was the first one I ever owned. The first one forward, the first like proper adult fragrance that I'd had. I'd kind of played around with fragrance before, but I found it intimidating. I found it um, expensive. I found it just a bit scary. And I also wasn't too sure, was I allowed to wear fragrance? Like, was I someone that could wear fragrance? And then I smelt this. I smelt this in a Selfridges in 2011, and I became obsessed with it. I thought about it when I got home. I could still smell it on my skin. I had little sort of blotters that I was constantly smelling. And I said to my friend Graham um, that I loved this. And he said, oh, I have that. Um, I know that. And actually, he bought me one as a going away gift. I decided to go to a very good friend, I should say. Such a good egg. And he bought me one just before I went to Australia in 2011. And I went backpacking. Now, I went backpacking with a Tom Ford fragrance in my bag. So maybe let's call this more flash packing than backpacking. But when I smelt this again, I wore this out on a night out and I just was transported back to all these fantastic memories of being, how old am I? Must have been 23. And just having so much fun, going to a new land, um, meeting new people, going to bars, going to restaurants. I still certainly do that. But it was just totally different and everything felt so new and so exciting. And when I put this back onto my skin, I had all those gorgeous memories and you know, the people that I met came back into my head. I could kind of feel the heat of the sun from Australia. I went across winter, our winter here, so their summer. And I just, I, I, I just thought, you know, this is what fragrance is all about. It's transportative, it's emotion, it's all these fantastic memories. And you know, although I bought this into summer, this can be, you know, this is more that sort of nuzzly, warm fragrance that you might wear into winter. Now, talking notes, Tom Ford doesn't really tend to sort of break it down into the top, the heart, the, the base. They think of it more as like a composition of notes. And I think that if you are new to fragrance or you're thinking, what the hell is a note? Try not to worry too much. Have a spritz of something, see what the sort of the, the key things in there are and try and think about, do I like that? Is that something I want to head towards? Now, this does have a tobacco leaf note. So with tobacco, there's a smokiness, uh, there's a sort of herbaceousness to it. It's fresh. Uh, I say fresh, it's smoky, but it has something which is, um, it's not tobacco in like a, you've been to a dingy sort of club and you've come home and there's sort of a smell of smoke on your clothing. There's tobacco in a fresh sort of tobacco sense. And I, I absolutely love this. I just think it's such a gorgeous fragrance. And again, I'm so surprised I haven't spoken about this. And um, so you have those tobacco notes. There's also vanilla. There's a creamy tonka. So it's um, got a depth to it. It's not a sweetness in like, oh God, oh, that's so sweet. Please keep that away from me. It's a sweetness of like a decadence, like a really great um, sort of sweet cocktail that you kind of just lean into. You kind of sat in that smoking room in a gentleman's club. Everything is just very slow. You've had a great night or you've just started your night. It's that really great creaminess that you might get. I mean, if you can see my leather sofa here, this is a sort of buttery leather sofa. And it's that sort of creaminess that I think gives it this 
really indulgent, sort of um, uh, just uh, so like luxurious. It's ju it's just pure luxury. And um, there's also these uh, sort of sweet dried fruit notes, which give it almost like a candied quality. And then this really great sort of sweet wood sap. Um, which kind of brings it into the more the sort of woody notes which you kind of left with the skin in terms of the dry down but for me it's 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 a perfect mix it's not a mix so much as a balance i would say it's a balance between um b between sweet um sweet and spicy you know the initial sort of spicy note and sort of mysterious yet inviting there's so much mystique in this and it's that sort of mystique, that mystique from X-Men, one of my favorites, um, that really gives you this feeling of confidence. Every time I've worn this, and I wore this again recently, you have people saying, I know that, that is tobacco vanille, or that is beautiful, what is that? It's so commanding, but without being up in your face. It's warm, it's inviting, it's sexy, it's decadent, it's luxurious. And it's just so beautiful on the skin. With Tom Ford fragrances, um, when I like them, I love them. Tuscan leather, ombre leather, um, tobacco vanille, vanille fatale, I found sickly and to a gourmand. Again, but when you find a fragrance that works for you and your own sort of personality and your uh, sort of the way that you hold yourself and your style, I just think hold on to it. And I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with myself that I, that I didn't go back to this sooner because it's beautiful. It's not cheap, it's 174 pounds. I will note it all down below in the um, description. 174 pounds for 50 mils. It goes up to, a, I'm pretty sure, like a 250 mil. And there's also a candle in this, there's beard oil. Um, so like they do a full set around this. It's the same with Oud Wood, which I also love. They kind of create this full sort of grooming range. Hello, if you're a woman, you can wear this, definitely. This says you're in control. It says you're in control of your man. You are just, you're a boss, really, if you've got this, I just think. I'm saying I'm a boss, but I feel like a boss when I wear it. Um, in terms of US dollars, again, I will link it. It's around about, can't stop smelling this, $215. So not cheap, but beautiful. And if you wanna spritz it and go away backpacking with this new bag, do it. But if you wanna keep it for high days and holidays and just when you just need that pick me up, you can also do it. The sillage on this is good. Like it, you can definitely smell it in the air but it is one of those that I think is slightly more intimate. You know, when someone gives you a hug, are we allowed to hug yet? Yes, we are, um, almost. Uh, and the, the um, performance of it really, so longevity I think is fantastic. You can still smell it, you smell it in your clothes, you smell it on a scarf, you smell it in the air. It's, um, it's so beautiful. So Tom Ford Tobacco Vini, you are entering the man for himself, Holy Grail, a selection of products that I just think of the absolute dog's bollocks. Like they just are the best and it's in there. So you can check that out. I'll link the Holy Grail up there. My favorites are hair products, skincare products, uh, fragrances are all in there, but beautiful fragrance, definitely a five star from me. Um, and just so iconic. So get yourself in, or if you're feeling like a bit of a bowler, a bit of a boss bitch, and you want to do a blind purchase from this, then please do click my affiliate link. It does help me run this and just a tiny little bit, you don't pay any more, goes towards me. So uh, there you go, please do. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Very much a walk down memory lane for me and I'm so pleased that I've been reunited. Um, if you've still not pressed subscribe, then hey, come on, where have you been? Please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. So some more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to the product pages on manfromself.com. Loads and loads going on there. And there'll be more videos and some of those links in the cards up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.